Hey, tell us about your kind of songs. What, what, what's your objective? Um, just for enlighten the people's mind, you know, and to remind them of where we've been and where we are and where we need to go. You know, there's somebody always has to be there with something positive. There's a lot of negativity on the radio right now, um, all around the world and TV. So I wanted to be the positive, one of the positive things that people can watch and listen to. Try to get a job today, but when I'm still an application, them say, hey, if this is where you really reside, please step outside. She asked them why, and they replied, we don't want no trouble, no. We don't want no trouble, no day. Cause lady, where you come from, people die there every day. And for our safety, that's where you should Stay. Thank you very much for your time, Ethan. Man, MC Chinaman, this man. I tell the people, man, say, watch a program, you know. Yeah, man, DM me and Phillips every night live. Check. Lifestyle, rated M for mature. Hosted by Damien Phillips. It's informative, provocative, and unconventional. Hosted by Damien Phillips. Lifestyle. I got some time alone Was what we really needed You said this time would hurt more than it's had But I couldn't see that I thought it was the end Of a beautiful story And so I left the one alone You're listening to DP. And so I left the one I love at home to be alone. And I tried and found out this whole thing is true. That I'm nothing without you. I'm no better now. And I've had a change of heart. I'd rather have bad times with you than good times with someone. Fabio scared me a while ago, you know. So I said, oh, Holland. Oh, see me, I see numbers here, so and Fabio asked me if no show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd rather have the one who owns my So I'm asking tonight. Is there anything a man can do to change a woman's mind? You know, to change, to, to make her want to stay? Is there anything, ladies, a man can do to make you want to stay? Or to keep you? 
that's a brother in love. Oh, yeah, you don't want to wish pan himself? Cover, of course, of uh, Luther Vandress. Richie Stevens, his rendition. Oh, no, Brian McKnight. What am I talking about? Brian McKnight, original. Richie Stevens doing his cover. But you know say when you talk about big singers, you to just you know just stand out, right? It's like if you say culture in a Jamaica, no, oh, you say culture and I say bear salmon. Like it's one of them things. So forgive me. Again, this is uh, made popular by Brian McKnight. Now, this is a cover version from the brother Richie Stevens. How many persons have the one that holds their heart? You know, me convinced say you have some holy pa couples who they just you know maybe they reach a point in them life like me and Jennifer was discussing the other night and them just say oh I don't want to be lonely and I can't bother with thing and then them just hook up find somebody yeah and I think it's both sides you know it's not only on on the men's side it happens on the female side too and some of me use for judge that this is what me know. Then we grow up and we hear certain things and when I hear people repeat them and I'm like, so if you say something over and over and over and over, what do you think that can happen? Like if you keep on calling our boys dog and good for nothing and worthless and all of these things, they're going to be worthless. It's like there's a psychological thing about it that, you know, I don't, I don't know because I'm not a psychologist. But anything you tell people long enough, it's just like if you have your daughter and you call her all of the derogatory things then maybe she bad and she experiment well not bad maybe she's experimenting but if you get up and you just call her bitch and dog and all of these things she just can internalize it and start being like that she's going to act it out so if some things i should hide and and do you know you don't have her as that so she's just going to just be it just display it same thing for men you know so i'm saying you have men who they just find somebody and say boy i'm gonna work with it and you have women who do it too and i heard of a story i don't know if you guys remember i used to watch the old african movies where um this guy named i think it's raj is his name and this girl I, I was told in kingston she her boyfriend name is raj but she have this lusting thing going on for the african actor so every time she's making love with her boyfriend, she's like, oh my God, Raj, Raj. And of course the boyfriend swears, say, you know, it's him going with things. When she, she's thinking about it because that is how powerful the mind is, you know, and especially females. Females can be at one place with one person and thinking about somebody else and the man don't have a clue and, and work with it. Anyways, let me say great night to you, um, to Fabli and to each and everyone locked in. Good evening, Colleen. How are you doing? Tanit. Who else? I thought I saw Gloria earlier. I remember mine. I know Merlin is here though. And uh, Anne Marie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, what are we looking at this evening? When a woman is done, there is nothing to change her mind. And in the mood of that, so I gave you Richie Stevens. Um, by the time which you know, this is a cover from uh R. Kelly by singing melody. You're listening to DP. So I'm asking ladies, is there anything a man can do for change your mind after you say nope, that's it? What is it? More and more. Stand there looking in the mirror. Saying them to myself. I should have known that they would come. She would find somebody else. And all the things I took her to should have lasted this long. DP Mills too. Which, which part are you at? I think, I, think I, I was balanced a while ago. No matter how you beg, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Oh no, it's like running all along. No matter how you say it, it's too late to talk about it. When the night felt the same And any time that you were hurt I could feel your pain And if I had a dollar It was just 
Singing melody. I haven't heard of from you in a while, bro. What, what's happening? You just married and gone and left the music scene and bridging, 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 bridging. Well, go on. We need to hear something. The amount of songs out there where you can cover, away, but I just stop cover people's songs. Oh, you got melody? Talk to me. Or is it that you're one of those um, artists who say, listen, my time passed, so young people time now i'm just living off my royalties and do my shows them same way and i try to put out on because i'm like I, I was listening to an um interview the other day and i'm like them dig up this this dj and i mean i say how do you know when to call quit you know when to say okay that that's it you know i, I don't know so fab say men can be with a woman and make her think it's she he thinks is thinking about men can be with a woman and make her think but but seriously and a real and a real though fab if we really really be honest good evening jennifer who you think have the ability has the ability to 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 deceive or maybe that is too strong of a word who you think would if there was a oh should i put it if you're supposed to grade it who you think has the the, the um who is I don't know. It's not coming out. I know what I want to say, but it's just not coming out. Who do you think would win if it was a competition? Lack of a better expression. Out a man trying to convince a woman that, oh, she's... I want... And female sing it. I want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. And some again, you have some females who then just accept it. Say, listen, like I said earlier, men are dogs. I, I grew up here in this kind of thing. Men will be men. You can't satisfy them. No care how much sex you give them. The mago still want others and all of them someday. So, who 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 you think would win this whole thing of tricking and and making it seems as if you know you're the only one, like. I don't know i'm a man i can't think like a woman and i was i was told today and school today that i should not say i use that word females when i'm referring to women so i'm going to say women or woman or lady or ladies all right i'm going to try even this evening i was typing something on another debate another topic and i put female and i'm like no 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 i'm not supposed to use female i'm supposed to say women but then i look and then the the I was just about again to say the female respond and then the lady responded and she used the term female and i'm like i'm convinced it's just like you know i've heard stand-up comedians and them say like one thing a man should learn 
is when not to agree with your woman. So one of the, the one of the main main one. Your woman cannot look at you and say, "Hon, um, this top is a bit tight. I think I'm putting on some weight. You, you think I'm putting? On? Don't agree with her. No, turn a hypocrite. Don't say yes, hon. And I'm like, some craziness where them say you're supposed to say and not supposed. Yeah, you're supposed. So no, I mean, no, no, me I go lose because if my wife said to me, um, babe, that pants are kind of thing, you know, you, you, you think me I put? On? Of course, me I go say yes. If she is indeed putting on, I was in a talk show the other day, and that was the discussion. Like, if your partner, this man wrote him to say, Listen, when he meet him wife, she was, you know, the right size, what he made like, and all of that, and she put on weight. And the first thing you hear a lot of women jump for is to say, But when you, um, you, you bear the children, and you now it's your children, you know, you bear the children, and blah, 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 all of these things. I mean, I say, No, I think a good, healthy relationship is one that both parties can speak freely. So it shouldn't be an insulting way to say, yo, you're fat and swarty like we say in Jamaica and you no, but you can't say, babe, um, I, I think we need to do some exercise because yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm I'm getting more than I can actually grip kinda if that's not what you like. But yeah, I mean I wanna want I, I can't recall. Um me can't tell lie people. I was about to say, uh, somebody told me, but when I use and say one of my ex or, pre or whatever people, ah, yes, I may have one bag of woman and I'm a woman and all of these things. But what, of course, it was an ex. And I, I remember she was having a, like a decay, tooth decay, right in the middle, right there. So. And may I say, okay, she must see it. So, of course, I know I stop kissing her because I'm like, uh, and then it did reach a point where it starts smell so i had to say something to her and it is weird because i always tell people if you smell me tell me but i am one of those persons who i can't and people have me that kind of way like me i will just easily insult people and all of these things no i am very sarcastic so i'll run joke and all of that but to tell somebody that i'm having issues with your odor being into your mouth your arm your i i, I can't do that can't so anyway my brave up and i said to her i'm like um that tooth need sorting out so she said yes she know and she actually said she asked a friend because her mother was the the mental um not mental the health the what is it whatever but deal with mouth dental not mental dental health nurse right um and and i'm like but this is not your friend's mouth this is not your friend's mother mouth mother's mouth you mm -hmm. need to deal with it you know what i mean i say and i don't know if she did take it one way or something but i think and maybe that is it some people they can only be disrespectful if something is wrong with your partner you should be able to cancel to them hon I think this needs some checking out. I, I think this needs some sorting out. You know, that that is what I think is the right thing to do. You know, just just leave it and not say nothing. So, on another discussion I learned today, you now <laughs> or tonight, that listen, people, and I post and I ask about Jamaica, and somebody said no. A young lady said no. You, the discredit thing is not only only in America. Um, Jamaica is getting there too, and she actually said it can take up to ten years to sort out somebody's um, if you have bad credit. So I asked the question because this this lady was telling me now that it's adamant. Like I made a post, I put it up, and I, and it's a female I saw with the post stating that um, sisters you should leave find a man that has good credit because street credit let me read i don't want to paraphrase get a man with real credit street credit can't get you no house sis and of course i don't know me i have to take a spin at it and throw at it and yes so um yeah so i'm asking should 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 credit be one of those <laughs> things that you discuss and you're like i'm not gonna date you if your credit is not good and um this young lady said something and i agree with her she's like having a bad credit can speak to your character which i can't hold that at its face value because i remember the job that i'm in right now um the very first week that i started well my orientation they had um I mean, I'll give nobody a free ad. This lady from a financial um, institution, she came there, credit card bank uh, thing, and she was talking, you know, how to repair credit. And she's like, listen, um, I can recall my days of college, your, your orientation, and you get a mug, and you get a credit card. 
so it's like them trap you as a student into just go and spend spend money wherever wherever so i i wouldn't say you know having a bad credit is actually um something to hold against somebody i mean you know i come here not even living here two years now and there are things that i know i, I remember even the other day i was saying it to a, a, a staff at work and i'm like there are different ways to build your credit and she was like no but i don't want to you know be in debt and blah blah blah, blah. And, and i'm like listen first and foremost and i learned that when i just come here and i, I think we went to get my get put me on my wife's insurance or something like that and the 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 agent asked me about my credit and i said i don't have no credit and i was like actually rejoicing and he said to me listen no 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 no. this is america bad credit is actually better than no credit at all because at least when you're bad you have bad credit you can repair it and speaking of that i have several friends who are into this um debt repair thingy 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 and they want to sign me up but that just don't feel like yeah but anyways there are a few things that i have learned first and foremost with credit card for those who may be in my institution i just gotta get one and thing make sure you're not spending what you don't have so what i do with my credit card every week i tell you what i've used and then i pay it at the end of the week so me not like see this big chunk of money come out of my account either so yeah that's what i do but you have persons who them like oh no i'm a line of credit good and um i have whatever to pay and the interest even that when you get the credit card it lists out and sure if you pay just your minimum balance which may be twenty five dollar a month then you you it to take longer to pay it off you know i've worked with people who have lived here you know them them have them bad credit and some something as simple as paying your bill late that affect your credit score so you have some people and mainly jamaicans who just pay a bill when i built and now they're changing that in jamaica because now i think most of the utilities um company if they have a late charge to it so if you pay past your due date there is like a what is it 250 dollars something like so in jamaica which is like that's what $2.50 US, but there's a late charge to it. In America, same thing. Your credit card is at least $35. And I'm like, you have persons who they are they're just paying late, not thinking about it, and they're carrying this cost of $35 for nothing. So it seems as if you can't don't pay your credit. Anyways, I'm not talking about repairing your credit this evening. But I was just tipping in to say, is, is that something that we should really look into to say, okay, when we're dating, um, let me see your credit score. I know couples who don't know each other credit score. Like they, they don't know it they, they they never ever maybe it's not even something that they ever discuss just like oh you know it is kind of known a boo-boo to as kind to caribbean men to find out how much money your wife is making and female sorry women get so defensive you know if a man should say me quit, me quit talk finance like but i always say maybe we just do these things wrong because i think interests you know stuff like kids and your finance and you know stuff that you like you don't like them something you're supposed to discuss in a dating and and before you get serious but yeah credit um anyways we're talking about this evening what 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 can make a woman stay if she really make up her mind i may ask that question because what we're going to look at is really that there's nothing you can do to um keep a woman if she chooses not to so i saw a lot of um fab say woman i saw a lot of um comment here jennifer say uh i think a man would win that we see things making effort we see them making efforts as romantic whereas women making the effort looks desperate um i remember ask the question again because i think you're answering a question that i ask i am asking who can actually deceive and i can't find a better word right now so forgive me the 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 partner that they're into them only and solely and nobody else and whatever is it male or females because i think once a man lose interest it's obvious because when i hear of you know people share with me either other person's experience or their own to say um it is three months now or it's two months now i'm living with my partner and we're not having sex like which man is okay with not having sex like seriously because for most men all it take for them to have sex is an erection nothing else so you have men who even when them not really care about you one sex are gone then them are right they will work with it everything else because me know a man who the woman is not washing or cooking or nothing not that fair him just knows him get some sex and him, him all right with that sometimes it's on her term too 
I was talking with a teenager the other day and, and she shared that. She said, yeah, she's having sex with this person. And of course, the parent was there. So it was like a discussion. And she's saying they're just having sex for pleasure and stuff. And, you know, so I say on whose term? Because me think if one female have... Sorry, I think if a girl is having sex with a guy and it's on his term as a teenager that are using kind of thing. I understand if yeah but she said no it's when she wanted she she called him up and all of this kind of thing so i'm saying it i i i, I think females are are better at that yo my cousin was going out one big up atl in the building yeah parky big up yourself you um peter you know so peter always watch a show but me can't recall seeing a comment from peter pantan say something when i time them the bridge and say something man jen say ah thank you for having listen <laughs> well you notice i'm struggling though um yes some women use it too jason speed big up yourself speedy turn it say these men nowadays no matter you um we ladies do we can't tame them these men you swing palm pole we give them round the world and them still looking um where else I am scared of men. I'm always hear that. I'm gonna address it on it. I always hear women, and I think that you use it as an. I said the right thing. Use it as an excuse to say, "Them man, you know what he is? Not care what you do, cause right, them go. First and foremost, I mean, no me gonna get some whole pad. Don't mash up your phone. Me make sure one in the front now. So put your phone if you're watching from your phone at a distance. What me gonna say no? Honestly, I don't believe that men, especially black men, are supposed to be monogamous. I don't believe that. Am I man? Am I am I practicing monogamy? Yes, I I am. I live in a world that even Jesus say, "Give to Caesar what gives to Caesar." In America, in Jamaica, it is illegal for you to marry and marry anybody else or involve with anybody else. And me sure, me can't put my head on the block right now. There's nobody that can call me sure and give us details to say yes, me and Damien Phillips did. No, so I I am monogamous right now, right? <laughs> but it, it's not. It's not. Men aren't supposed to but we get drafted into this way of thinking and people we know what about people are course right now and i know maybe i don't get to the programs with what i just saw a while ago but it's the truth like i've seen it and even as as a teenager it happened to me you see this woman and you say this girl wife and you say this is the person that i want i want her so bad and i will do anything to get her and when you know us are your girl is like uh, you go somewhere else and even if you choose not to cheat not to do anything and that was my life when i was a, a teenager late teen early 20s i would be so wanting to and I, as soon as i'm with somebody that i'm happy with i think i've said this already on the show i was with this girl i think i was what maybe 17 at the time and two of her friends kind of neighbor both of them came to me one evening i mean i said teenager so i don't know what 90s matter about and they were telling me that if i break up with that girl both of them would would get with me and i'm like um no i'm all right I, i'm good so yeah but i guess them just they didn't think that that girl was good enough for me so them did i try do one kind of something for it to mash that up but the point i'm making is like is after people see you and you're looking comfortable and all that then they start to come at you you know to break up whatever so and with even the video i showed last night where this girl was saying i'm like what if that guy had his girlfriend maybe it was a long distance relationship thing or whatever so them not live in stuff like that and him just have a friend so this is why i made me rule out certain things like trust me fellas if you have your woman and no care how nice one another woman come to seem as if she just want to be your friend no because normally females sorry normally women have something up their sleeve you know so if they get close to you something in a something you know women not just normally just just yeah no nah. Because guess what? In the back of them, they must say, even if I just want to be platonic, he's a man. He's going to think that I'm being nice for other reasons. So, yeah. You don't normally find women, you know, doing these kind of... Oh, no. Now I have a confession to make. So, Jennifer, when I was growing up, I was told that you should not refer to a female as a woman. They take offense to that. So, I think this is why I, I just have it in my head not to say woman, but then... I don't know. <laughs> ah, please forgive me. So, so back to turn it now. I've heard ladies say, no care what you do, but they use that as a, as a little, I don't know, a side piece because they're not doing everything. 
to 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 try um i had that discussion i don't remember exactly what i, I talk about but even jennifer comment, commented on it and oh this post that black black women were taught to live by themselves and white women were taught to how to keep a man and jennifer said exactly what i said like i don't think you should be setting out to keep anybody because i don't think neither man or woman can be kept like that is what we're supposed to be dealing with tonight what you can do if if me and you didn't care nice and sweet and you get every single thing where you say you want and if you get up tomorrow morning and say i want out of this there is nothing i can do to make you stay nothing but i think you have persons who they use that to their advantage or advantage to say listen me can't do anything but so i don't care and i think that is wrong if you're in a relationship and you are demonstrating that guess what you can do whatever you want you can leave whatever you want some people do it out of fear because they're like i've done it before i've invested and i, I remember <laughs> this lady used to come on my show and she said something one night that's in jamaica and after that she didn't come back she accept my invitation and then just don't show up because I, i've everybody know her in portland she was once with this entertainer guy and when you see them in the club you know that it was her money she teaches so yeah she have her job and um she will dress him in the latest whatever you know sneakers clothes whatever everything watch cook clean for him um allow him to go studio or whatever else he want to do and thing. the only thing is i just never ever see him anywhere without her which damn men kind of have an issue with that if you're one of the type that you feel like you must always because you don't want him cheat um yeah it'll go cause some conflict so anyway to the breakup so she said on the show that listen she have done it for her baby father and she did it for this entertainer guy she did every single thing for him and him still this her and this in that context mean gay are born so i guess that proves my point again man will just forever be man like we grew up and hear them say but don't use it as an excuse to say okay me now go go all out me now go give me best because they're gonna go anyway if you smell me tell me <laughs> uh yeah i always say that if you smell me tell me i so i, I read him back all the thing but i can't tell people that the the, the, the thing then it said these men nowadays they can't be team so, oh no i'd read that already nobody can make anybody else stay if they don't good so at least we're on the same page with that right jennifer Cyprian, welcome to the show then it said women is easy to stay in a relationship than men women is easy to stay in a relationship. why explain tell me why you think so men too dp P when you say men too please mention what you're not relating to so i can respond to that um so <laughs> jennifer said oh that's interesting um but it's something though i dealt with this the other day there are things that are uh, are accepted but they're not allowed and let me break it down <laughs> this is this cheating thing goes way way back a matter of fact there are um literature that i've read that suggested that this foolishness that the bible talk about in genesis that oh um eve took the apple from from the serpent and god smite the serpent and say from no one because the serpent used to walk upright like a man and no them says lie it's actually a next man eve did go have sex with so yeah and after she have sex with that man now she got to adam and introduced the sex to adam they understand me say. so from ever since being polygamous was was like check every check all of the animal them i think his dolphin and another thing just made one partner for the rest of them life and then this is a topic where a lot of times people don't be honest about it you know and i remember a couple months ago maybe it was last year i did this topic and the women they were saying listen just like how a, a woman can keep herself it's not like she don't get tempted it's not like because that's another thing that i was i i was taught wrong i was taught by women that listen once a me and your day it's it me not see nobody else me can't have likings for nobody else and me, me I, I, I was in doubt but i end up believing it and then in my show now i got some checks like more than one woman women women more than more than one of them said to me listen no not no go so that's why bon at so because you there and you go somewhere you see some hot sweet man and you could have wrap it upon them and you said no i'm not nah, this my man so i'm not going to do that and then for no say he's out there doing all kind of manner of evil so the, the temptation is there as human beings i honestly believe that 
monogamy is not for humans i really that's that's my own that's opinion i think i'm tired of saying it um i'd never heard that before and that what i want to i don't know what you're referring to um i've paid child support for his children i've never met and he still cheated yeah so child support <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at what you say. You pay child support for his kid. That not enough for the man. If the man himself don't want to pay a child support, oh, you pay a child. Good at look by Sorry, I'm talking in patwa. Sorry, Jennifer. That has nothing to do with the man. You know, probably saying, um, that money that she's using to pay to give to this itch, that could buy me some new sneakers or whatever. Yeah. So, yep. Um. Never heard that you shouldn't stay. You shouldn't stay. No man, like it's more in a vexation way. Like if a man say woman, they, they see it as a derogatory kind of. So actually, the elevation of the voice and all of that. So yeah, the woman thing is mainly when when they're upset. So yeah. So that that is what I have in my head. So uh, maybe it's a cultural thing, like I, I stated to you before, because. You know, females is, is accepted in Jamaica. You know, you go somewhere and say, okay, all the females come over here, males over there, blah, 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 whatever. But it's just one of them things. All right, so we're looking at this evening, um, 11 minutes past the hour. What can we do? What can a man do to, to, to keep a woman? Or, you know, make a woman stay Um dot 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 mm. all right sorry um somebody having me editing a um an artwork from yesterday so them just sent me that I was looking at it my bad um <clears throat> Ah, it's the manner. Yes. So you must say, woman, listen to me. You know, that is seen as, yeah. So not just a, a woman, you know. And yeah, of course, this is cultural. Because in Jamaica, the, it's more acceptable to say a lady than to say a woman. Or your group, the man say women. So the, it's more acceptable to say ladies. So yes. But if, if it's a scale, like in Jamaica, they'll prefer you to say like the first preference would be lady or ladies um female or are or, or females and then woman are yeah that, that i guess that's how it would set up in jamaica like yeah like you, you know just say hey missing one woman the other day it is kind of i don't know if i'm explaining it right anybody else there here what can i explain that for me please yeah like in a jamaica you don't just call and i'm going to use it you don't just call a female a woman and and think they will take offense if you do that all right it's nicer to say ladies so you know for example you don't say it's it's women's night you know it's it's women no it's ladies night ladies just have a nicer sound to it and even girls like all the women will accept you saying girls then you know um i think I, I i think i explained that now good enough um toilet say dp women is always moving Oh, women is always more forgiving more than men. If a, if a man say it's over, there is nothing you can do to stop him. Especially if he have another woman. When women will say, if it's over, then you guys come and beg and we... And we with our soft heart give another try that is funny that you said that Tony because I've heard this although men was it I think is lie some of them I tell because that's another thing you know you know that you have people who they publicize the relationship so yeah we're dating and you have to be all over my Instagram and my you know all over my social media and then when you break up and like everybody knew that you broke up and you're like what me I gotta know so I've seen it a lot of times like them are doing undercover stealing love on the side kind of thing so they have a private thing going on but nobody else is not supposed to know about it so I know that and I've heard of I've heard excuses like well I don't want my sex count to go up meaning i am I, like that's another thing i don't know if americans think about that but like in jamaica you hear that a lot like people look down on a woman if she i've had sex with more than five guys and i'm like um 
So, yeah, if you ask your always here three, like, me never hear a number over three yet. And I'm like, these people are lying. Because, especially now that sex just, everybody have sex for whatever reason. They don't care. Like, there's nothing special about sex anymore. That's why some people right now think it's overrated. You know, like last night we look at. But, um... But they, they, they're forgiving. So that's one of the reasons that I've heard. Like, you know, females tell me straight up. Them say, listen, I'm not really comfortable with the person. I'm, I'm in my dog, in, in my bun, my left, right, and But guess what? I can't be like him. So if I go to another guy and it don't work out, what am I going to do? Move on to somebody else, which that is what the Amen Phillips recommended. My thing is not because you end up getting sex with the guy, you should allow him, as we spoke about, um, discussed Monday night, to, for him to abuse you. So you're going to stay in abuse because you want to protect your pride to say, um, I don't want anybody to say it was only two months i was dating this guy who cares about what people want to think so you should sit in an abusive relationship this man a box and kick you and a thump you down every single day but you're like um it's gonna look bad if i break up with him because who gives a hoot about looking bad but something else turn it i was trying to refrain from going there but i have to one of the main reasons why fe- one of the main reasons why ladies accept a cheating man or staying the condition is because of greed and economics plays a role in that too and you know that because this is something we know and at this discussion i was trying to enlighten jennifer on this which is a cultural thing most women even when they make them own a money they want to know say they might get money from the man too the man must have sin on you understand so you have people as opposed to the a, a, a lady put up and she say sex feel nice but money feel nicer so you have women who wait and say um and blatantly blatantly on facebook i've, I've seen it to them say listen i don't care what i want as long as my money all right so let's talk about my producer and i want to would not like when we talk about sh- men who work on ship or work abroad you're in jamaica and i think these ladies condition their mind and this is what i was trying to explain a while ago jennifer that there are things that are accepted but not allowed so you have a your 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 man is on ship or he works out of the country and all of that you really think say, go sit down, he's going to be away for 18 months i mean eight months six months whatever and have no form of sexual encounter all he does is facebook and, and i mean facetime and and whatever like seriously no Mm-mm. so they, they just bend their mind to the condition and say well man a man them go cheat so so what but i'm saying to you turn it now what keep a lot of women in relationships and keep take care and staying back is when them calculate it and them say um but i'm losing me i lose all of this because check the measurement 100 percent independent women they are the one that don't accept crap from nobody and me grew up hearing this that listen when me have, you have some ways to that when me left a man me not take him back could have come on me yard could have begun and not that is a mantra that i i've heard a lot of ladies say no me not in the take back thing me not taking you back once we break up that's it that is why when i meet a woman and she say this feels so hard for a woman or it, it is i'm trying when i meet somebody and they say um i, I broke up about two months ago i said no 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 left yet N- to me nothing on that year is not no breakup oh no 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 just stop talk because no back to the no one and the no yeah oh no no left oh no no break up no nah, man look a bit after that when loneliness is sleeping and those nights with raining and all of these things and you know you're wishing with a text or a call and maybe you brave up and say um yeah i've had that people know something like a certain kind of food and then invite me and say um you want to come for dinner sunday that time we bex with when i chatting or around there yeah but a lot of times the only reason this is my opinion i don't think why i, sh- I need to say that on my show don't it this is my opinion um the only reason you'll find a lot of ladies stay in uncomfortable relationships and situation is for the benefits that you know can be had yep so you're from a poor community yeah you got break up with the man and go moving back with your six sisters and five brothers and your mother in a two-bedroom now when you have Benz and bima driving so that's another thing that you know society does to us you know we 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 get exposure to certain things you know the the and then to to drop that to leave that to go back you're like no and you're like to start over so yes the forgiveness thing i think is materialistic things cause women to easily forgive like a man a man knows him i get born obviously another man in i'm cookie jar in cut him gamble in business 
um ah i understand definitely a cultural difference ladies Ladies is very polite here too. Alright, good. Alman Lodge in the building. Turn it. Me like what? Another reason. Me this evening. No, me like it. Me like it. Maybe we can save that topic there. Till yeah, eleven minutes. So we're going to do this. The topic about leaving <laughs> tomorrow night. Since you guys have me talking um, about other stuff, so we can leave this topic. I like this when this happens. We can leave this topic for tomorrow night. Um, yes, true DP. If if you said woman in jamaica we get mad um it's like they are cussing you like woman move your move from yes so yep thanks for the assistant in explaining to it um so jennifer said so the question is if he's going to cheat under that circumstances and it's just a, a and it's just assumed is it also assumed that she will cheat exactly Ex exactly 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 you just sit there i remember a couple of years ago i was in port antonio going into kfc and the security guard and one of the staff had a discussion and the feet the lady said listen to me if my man is cheating me nah, me nah stop him because me i got cheat too so that is where it's at like this whole thing about being equal gender equality i found that being promiscuous comes with the whole territory so I, I have this discussion a lot of time with a lot of um women and and them say them say listen for years men have been let off the leash to do just about anything they want to do and it's full time now we change that so and every time when somebody challenged me on this to say it should be okay for a woman to just meet a man and just sleep with him like and i'll be like i mean no that i don't want that to be the norm because again i always try to you know educate my sisters sorry but it's the truth I've, and let me say this first i've known of people who met for the first time or the first time they meet maybe not met for the first time but they have some form of communication either with technology or writing or whatever so they have developed a kind of connection so the first time when they meet physically they have sex and they're happily married today family and all works and i've heard of one night stand that end up turning into eternity because you know the man had it in his head or the woman because that is where it's at right now that listen i just want to have a good time and yeah and then them get hooked because something sweet them so them end up staying but what you just saw a while ago jennifer that's exactly the point like i see it as an excuse to say okay now i have a reason so he's cheating so i can cheat too because he's doing it so that's exactly what it is so that is what i said to the um to the the, the the lady i said listen this is why a lot of women will say they don't have a problem with a cheating man because guess what if your man is giving you ten thousand dollars a week and i'm talking about jamaica because that is i think that is the minimum wage now if your man is giving you ten thousand dollars a week so that is forty thousand dollars a month now me i got bust out some secret about jamaican women them now so they're going to say to a man who is now looking them courting them trying to get with them that listen you have to come better than my man because my man gave me 10 grand a week so you can't nobody thinks it you go get nothing free and whatever 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 you have to can't step it up but even if the man should say well maybe me can't go to ten thousand dollars a month but i can go five or eight no that's an extra five thousand dollars that she's getting so you see the maths so five times four is at 20. So she can be racking up a $60,000 at the end of the month because her man, main man, again, are $10,000 a week. So that is 40. Plus the next man on the side is bringing something to the table because when a woman cheats on her man who is providing for, with a man who not have nothing to give, that is when she's at the point where either sexually she's not being stimulated properly she's fed up and she just wants revenge and all of them so that's the only way you'll find a woman going to a man who she's not getting anything from and when I say getting anything from i'm talking about materialistically or or um financially that is the only reason so what i'm saying now is there is a benefit to be had with multiple partners on the female side well sorry on the women's side and on the men's side as well because the more the more fem the more woman me of <laughs> i'm gonna have a problem with this the more women i have is that that equals to the more sex and then of course it's tap on the shoulder that society gives us yeah it must shatter you have one bag of woman it must shatter so you get a tip on your shoulder and so like i said better treatment more treatment sometimes it create this this um 
this challenge so when mm-hmm. you find out that somebody else is with your man then you try to do everything to i've seen i have a friend who mm-hmm. they used to sponsor my show when i was in jamaica um glitz and glamour andre and lisa big up yourself and i was in there one evening and mm-hmm. this lady came in with her wedding band big piece of rock on her hand and she said um i'm here for a piercing so Andre turned to her and said, yeah, which, which one of your ears? And she said, no, 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 no. I'm a tongue more and pierce. And she was just open. She said she get to find out that her man side chick has a tongue ring and him like it and whatever. And I think it was the, 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 the matey, the side chick start texting her or whatever and telling her the things and what she do so this wife now and i think i did i turned that in a topic knowing me i mean i say should wives compete with me you hear say your man have another woman should you try to match up so you hear say she pierce her tongue and your man like it so you're going to pierce your tongue too so sometimes it end up being beneficial for the men to say listen um i have five women and they're all going crazy to try to you know please me satisfy me and not even really feel like a king which that's how men supposed to feel anyways i think that's why some men have one more woman so that's for another topic so as may i say the benefits is there so the more man not woman have is the more money she end up getting and sometimes better treatment too and it's sad but even with this whole whatsapp and facebook thing you have some man with them ever that road and them busy and thank god for whatsapp because you have some women who that is their company so them have a little man who i look them and i tell them some nice things and keep them up till they're ready to go sleep and thing because them man man now get you know like a day sick and and him mm-hmm. not really care because i don't need woman already and complacent and all of these things all right um so yes there are benefits jennifer um for sure some people men and women both stay in relationship for financial reasons yep um oh yes dp you have a point (laughs) mr moody in the building but dp sometimes is children yes i've heard this i don't buy it don't believe in it i wouldn't recommend this to nobody because guess what your child is not going to remain a child for the rest of their life they're not gonna grow up and at times I think as adults, we, 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 we're stupider than we think. And we're the ones who want to think children are stupid. I, have a, I had an experience the other day. Now, there are a family that always frequents my house. And we're not really on the best of, we're not even on talking terms per se anymore. And they have a child. And they came here a couple of evenings ago. And... The, 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 the wife stayed in the, the vehicle and the, the, the husband came out with the child. And they both saw me and said nothing to me. And the little five-year-old stepped past me like him not seen nobody. And I'm like, children live what they learn. So I, I wasn't even bothered or perturbed because me I said that's another thing. And try to remember, if you as the adult talking bad about either another family member or a co-worker or a friend and all of these things, when you go around them, there's a connection that is made with your child sensing that vibration vibes from you so they're not going to be all up into so even if it's somebody that says a workplace your child here you're discussing negatively about your, your um your co-worker i can't stand him or i can't stand her because she this and she that blah blah, blah. even when your child normally run and go jump up on them and think they're not going to do it they're not going to do it so the point i'm trying to make now turn it is this to say listen it doesn't make sense to say you're staying for the child because guess what? The pity them are going to grow up. And to me, that is even more dangerous because now, instead of the child having whatever, say you break up when you were young, so five, six, seven, and you have visitation, wherever it is, and blah, blah, blah. As long as you're not being disrespectful. So the, the, the mother not saying anything negative around the kids to the father about the father vice versa the dad is not doing that then the pity them are right they're going to wish that oh i wish mommy and daddy was together but if you do everything together like you got all the important things i'm like games if your children are into games and whatever i have a natural i mean a social life you know you've done mommy and daddy already so you find things that you can do together with your, 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 your um children that make more sense so when them grow up and get older now then you can discuss and say well this is why we had to split or we never work out and all of these things but i think it's more it's more damaging when you stay in a toxic situation and you say it's because of the kids because you're uncomfortable you're unhappy and the pitney are gonna know yeah the pitney are gonna know them are gonna know and trust me it can't take a toll on them again not no psychologist just based on observation 
and discussion that I've had with people, I mean, no, say it really, no, make no sense. You better if you move go by your business, and I've seen it where sometimes it takes moving out of the same city or parish town, sometime out of the country, and then after that, the hostility kind of die down, and then people start be you know, what they're supposed to be, you know. Um, adults responsible and this, and look at it and say listen the child is what is important me and you never work out it's about the child you try to be the best mom i try to be the best dad and that is what is best for the child again i'm saying the child but guess what you worry about this about keeping the child and whatever when them reach college age and gone what happen that is when you're going to say okay now i think i can move on with my life when you could be having a happy life that's just that's how i see people see you use it and i think I've heard men use it too, but I think this is more like a, a, a women card kind of thing. Because I don't know, a man want to cut him, I go cut. A man, men can't really deal with stress and all of these things. So, yeah. Um, like seriously, DP, I don't know which part of this. Turn it, Mister. Anytime when I go relate to something, say something. If I have one word, so I can pick up. Um, Jennifer say it is an interesting conversation, and humans meant to be monogamous or not, it doesn't work for everybody. But I'm seeing more poly and open relationship these days that is to me that is a confession to my theory and we can go to books for read and recommend and thing. trust me it's the, the and this is what is causing a lot of pressure this is why you have men who if they they, they get suspicious of you that your co-worker is, is messing with you them come in your workplace shoot you shoot up your co-worker the other day what was it which one of them big place there was it Twi twitter or or um netflix some one of them company yeah them just have a feeling say you know i i am hearing too much about this guy or everything about this guy or maybe your phone ring whatever man and them just say listen because this whole thing about you own somebody and this is what i always say from ever since i'm in relationship any day i find myself in a position that i am fearful or that is what occupies my mind or my brain time i'm at work and i'm thinking about being cheated on no i think i said it the other day i am just going to assume I may ever think me right up to today. They reminded me that at work. Yeah, I'm not going to be in no argument. Me not again in an argument because unless say my wife is cheating on me, the only way she should actually admit it is if she really want me to leave. So me I say me not go thing because if you don't want me to leave for whatever reason and you uh, and she find and I find out something and ask you, I'm going to expect you to lie. I'm going to expect you to deny it. You understand me? I say so. I will act on my assumption, my feelings. If I because. To me, and you have you have both men and women who are in that situation. They're not comfortable because they think that their partner is cheating, but they can't ask. Why they can't, I don't know. But if you feel like you need to ask, or if you feel like you need to start watching your spouse, if you feel like you need to set up your, your Google, I heard somebody was saying that the other day about some Google thing. So if you take a picture, whatever, everything is uploaded to Google and, and your partner can see who you're communicating with. And if you're that uncomfortable you don't need to be with anybody you shouldn't yeah and i've been accused for that even as teenagers as a teenager because i was told that you don't show certain interests like i've never had an argument with a, a, a partner about you know like some insecurity issues kind of no because i don't know maybe it's my makeup maybe it's how i, how I think you know i'm like I'm, i don't have time to be wondering i wonder if me i get bun bun is cheating by the way for those who are not Jamaicans. I no, you're killing yourself slowly. You're poisoning yourself if every single day you get up and thinking about being cheated on, being cheated on, being cheated. No. You can have so much more fun. So yeah, the whole poly thing, polygamy, yep, and open relationship. And you see it on Facebook to people say yeah, open. Um and then even with the whole sexuality kind of thing too, you have you have persons who say, I, I can't make up my mind. I enjoy both sex. I enjoy my sex and the opposite. So I mean, yeah, you gotta deny them and say don't and we're in a world now that you do just about anything you want to do, right? That's where it's at. So my thing is the whole honesty part of it. Because they are women who they know that they they don't really comfortable with one. But they pretend, and back to a question that was asked earlier, and I'm saying, I think my answer about that when it asks, women have all what it takes to make a man feel like he's him alone. Yeah, they have it. Good, good, good. And even the breakup thing, which I did want to mention within the topic, 27 minutes going up to 11, so I'm soon going left for now. Um, when a woman is breaking up with a man, and I'm going to say more on it tomorrow, it comes with stages. So the first separation is mentally. She does a mental breakup. 
she goes through that process cut him off in her head and then she will still although she cut him off in her head you know so they're not together in her head she will still wash cook and clean if that was a norm she will still have sex with him or no let me rephrase that she will allow him to have sex with her so all the things that she used to do like on the pole that you alluded to earlier turn it and um around the world and all of these things him now get them something again a matter of fact she'll even tell him that boss i'm not sure what you're doing so guess what protection you have to use a condom it has, yeah no glove no love kind of thing you know what i say so that's and then she take time separate you know pull away so she cut off the, the physical contact so after the mental then it's physical she stopped him can't touch her she can't stand him she got sleeping at the baby you know, the, the, the daughter room and them kind of something there no communication no contact whatever still wash cook and clean and then now when she reached that stage where she really really done with him she stopped wash cook and clean and she just move out so yeah women don't just get up and just say me left when a man will get up and say yo hit on me done me move out and pack up him stuff and left no half impulse emotions maybe ego yeah that that's not the way women do it they they as i say in layers they break up in layers um turn it to fuck jen say i uh i stayed when i shouldn't have um thinking i was helping my stepson um in hindsight i wish i had left sooner that is what it always boiled on to even step because that's another thing with step like i'm not saying that you're not supposed to take care of your step but guess what I think stepchildren have this automatic thing in them head where them just don't accept you. No care how them pretend and it depends on early coming at them life or, or whatever. No. There's this natural thing, even if their biological parents not businessing with them and thing, they're they're as we say in Jamaica, blood thicker than water. So there is this automatic I am not really accepting you. So yeah, what I know a lot of people do, I mean did promise myself this family know myself, so listen, I now buy nobody love, not even my own pitney love me now go buy. So I've known of cases where up to recently I have a friend who she was telling me that trust me, I started dating this guy, he has a twin, and um like the kids they love me so much because you know it does buy them clothes. The other day we're so we're going to the mall and he gave two 14 year olds a hundred dollars to buy clothes and she was like, What can a hundred dollars do for teenagers? A hundred dollars to buy clothes, that's nothing. You know, so and so you have you have step parents who they try to buy the love of the step. Or they're thinking, okay, by doing all of this for them, that will be maybe give me a ticky, uh, you know, make me look good into the eyes of the No, they don't care. It doesn't matter. And like I say, even to the kids themselves, they don't care. Where's the first step? And then you have some people who, some kids who, they're so accustomed to having step. And I know of cases where you have people who play them step to. As in, yes, mommy or daddy is with this person. And when I want something, I can just call all of his girlfriends and ask them. And then now you have the girlfriends who they try to do this rivalry thing to who can top the thing. So um, them say, what do you want for Christmas? And this one, oh, I want an iPhone 10. And the other one, I want a, whatever they want. And they try to do the, no, it's not going to work with me. Hush. So yes, it always boils down to that, Jennifer, that, you know, in hindsight, you're like, I wish I'd done it differently. Yeah, I, I wish. All of that money, maybe more that save up on <laughs> Maybe just give it to some charity or, or something. Um, amen, brother. Um, if I feel the need to look at your phone, then I shouldn't be with you. Yeah. I had that discussion with my um one of my coworkers the other day, and he's like, I have never had no issues with no phone, nothing. And if my girlfriend should come to me one day and say, Oh, I need to see see your phone, then we'd be like, All right, let us just break up. Not that he and he uh, hurriedly said it's not that he's cheating or anything, but when you reach that stage that you feel so insecure that like, you need to even if you're asking permission in front of the person, I just think that's low. That's just, yeah, I don't care. Whatever people want to think. Insecure, too bad. Anyways, we are there to that say, I'm afraid that's the children, that kids being there. OMG. Yeah, I guess I can write a book, don't turn it. Yeah, man, as me, I say, no care how much love you give them. And I've seen this over and over and over. In early years, the step maybe don't even care about the pitney them. I mean, not the step, the biological. Wasn't there when, you know, them just start grade school and all of these things. And you as the step think you're doing the right thing. And, you know, you go out. And then you reach a stage now where, you know, it's a young man or a young woman. And they're becoming. So the step, the, the biological parents resurface into the life. And then what do you think going to happen? You're having ceremonies at school. Yeah, the pitney is now on honor roll and thing all of that. Guess what? The same step that was there all of the other times the previous time. Now, 
I don't know if it's a workout in the head to say I don't want to make whosoever uncomfortable. You'd even reach point where the children know they will start making their own decision to say I want mommy and daddy and my birthday thing. I'm doing we're going to some um restaurant to eat and I really don't really want a step. I want my mother and my father. Which I can't mm-hmm. deny them at that. You know, when them reach an age now they can make them own decision and then where you gonna do you gonna feel left out, you gonna feel so my thing is always this anything you're going to do just do it from the 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 goodness of your heart don't do it thinking you're going to get a a crown of glory or you're going to be repaid and no just if you feel like doing it and if you have the capability of doing it just do it don't think to say okay by doing this it is going to put me in a better light because no not no go so and tomorrow we'll talk about that with and relationship because i know people do everything give everything both male and females let me say that better both men and women and it still don't work pauline the show was at 9 30 at night time you hear anyways peeps i'm gonna make me chat one all night but you see you don't notice i always say this you know lifestyle show is like sex what you put in is what you get out so me sure so the people that might just sit down and watch you find it sometimes boring but when you participate see when you get me i'll talk some something away me not normal with that chat, don't it? Wayne Miller, big up yourself. Guys, guess what? It has been my pleasure being with you this evening. We did not look at the topic that I posted that I'm sharing. Um, but thanks to Jennifer and Tonet. I actually enjoyed what we talked about though. So, um, what is the takeaway this evening? I don't know because we talk about just about everything. <laughs> so, until tomorrow evening. My name is Damien Phillips. I'm here every Monday through to Thursday from 9.30 Eastern Standard Time to 10 30 or beyond so until tomorrow if you can't be good please be careful have a good night